Well, it's time for the day I've been dreading the most. Probably not the most, but one of the most dreaded days thus far. As you can tell by the title, I'm reading Book Talk's most viral, starting one of Book Talk's most viral series. I can't finish the series all in one video because that would take a very long time. But I am at least going to start and read the first two books in this series and I am terrified. And the reason why I'm terrified is because this series is literally probably the number one top series in like the book tube book talk book history it's it's number one more than fourth wing more than powerless but it's definitely the known series that basically got everyone back into reading and i've been putting it off for a really long time because i'm just i'm worried i'm worried that i'm not going to be that into it and i'm worried that it's just not it's going to be too confusing for me i feel like i'm going to be really stupid and not understand anything that's going on and i know that sounds silly but for someone that doesn't really read much fantasy, um, I mean, I know I read Fourth Wing and I know I read Powerless, but I grew up kind of only reading romance and that was it. So as you can tell, you know, I'm going to go ahead and give it away, even though we probably all know. I'm going to be reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. The only thing I know about this book is that there's a girl, she is part of a normal world, I guess, and she's in poverty. And like, I start, you know, I will say I started this book a few months ago. I read like four pages and I like stopped. I don't know why. I mean, it, it wasn't because I wasn't into it. I guess I just, maybe I just wasn't into it. <laughs> I didn't give it a chance. She kills a wolf and that's it. That's all I know. Kind of jump into it blind, but I do know from booktube that this book, there's a character in it that's like not good. And a lot of people didn't understand why at first, but then then they understood why. So I don't know what drama is gonna happen here. I literally don't know what this book is about. So I guess without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. I literally don't know what I'm in for. And I may try to listen to this on Spotify too, because I do have some hours left. So. I mean, the map looks cool, but literally I'm just skipping it. Okay, so she killed a wolf, but like she thought, she, in the back of her mind, she was like, this could be like a fae but she shoots it anyway. Yeah, she like already is like, he he might be a fairy, she should be running. But he like looked like a wolf, moved like a wolf, just an animal. She's like trying to say that it's not one. Okay, there it is. I just got to chapter four and now I'm assuming she's gonna suffer the consequences of killing the the um, fey wolf. Yeah, it says murderers, okay. <laughs> Here we go, this must be where the story starts in a sense. Okay, it's been um, a few days since I have read this book, uh, physically read this book, I mean, because I um, listened to the audiobook of this on Spotify while I was working. As most of you know, uh, probably already know, probably assume, I do work a full-time job, so it is hard for me to find time to pick up and read a physical book. Boots! What do you want? Watch this light when I stop. It changes colors when I stomp my foot. Isn't that weird? Okay, anyway. So for the majority of the book, like halfway through, I was about maybe a little over halfway, I was honestly getting bored because she is just, because we all know the point of the story. She's taken to the land of the Fae and she's like living amongst them. And for the most part, 
that's what was happening and there was nothing else going on. Like it was just her talking about living in this world with Tamlin and she's just going about her day and she's like walking through the park and she's doing some painting and she's doing eating food. It's just I kind of like boring and I was like, okay, when is something going to happen? There there are things that did happen in between, like sprinkled here and there that I think are going to come up later. And there was a part where we met Rysan and I was like, okay, this is the dude everyone talks about, okay? Um and I know I know that People say that Tamlin isn't a good guy or something. People make him out to be like he's not a good guy. And as of right now, I don't really understand why he's not. Well, that's where I was. I was about halfway through. And then after that, things started happening. And I was like, oh, okay. So right now I met Amarantha. Amarantha? And I will say the whole thing with Claire. If you don't know about the book, then this won't be a spoiler. But the whole thing with Claire in that situation, that like sucks. Like, cause I can't imagine that happening. Rysan also, why does everyone like him? Because Rysan's kind of an asshole. I will be honest. I like this book, but I, I, I don't really think it's a five star. And I think that's gonna be surprising from like to a lot of people. Cause a lot of people really love this series. That part in the middle where it was just, it, it seemed kind of just boring and maybe things will come up later. So far, maybe it's a four, um, cause I do like it and it's very interesting. And I like um, the world. And after I'm done with this, I'm going to jump straight into A Court of Mist and Fury. And that's all gonna be part of this video. And in the next video, I'll do the last three books. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I, I literally don't have the next three books. My sister has them, so I have to go to her house. And I'm currently on chapter 40. She's like, my second task has arrived. So, oh yeah, she's doing these tasks. And I kind of forgot to point this out. Like there was like a whole reasoning why she kind of went to the world of the Fae. I don't know, is that the reason why we're not supposed to like him? Because I didn't think that was that bad. Oh, and so far, spice level, not much. There's like one scene and that was it. I was expecting a lot more, but I think that's the second book. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read the rest of this book. And like I said, there's not much. So maybe I can get this done in the next hour or so. Oh. Okay, okay. Rice seems like reading her thoughts or something, or he's like, he's like talking to her telepathically or something, or, or, or am I just an idiot? I don't know, that's what it seems like. I don't know what's going on. He licked her? Okay, there's something happening. Okay, remember when I said there was one spicy scene? We might be at number two right now. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. Okay, this last task. This last task. You're kidding me, right? This is a plot twist I really, kind of really wasn't expecting, but I don't know what's gonna happen after this, so. Oh, I don't know what she's gonna do. I know it's like a really intense part of the book, but I'm just eating a cupcake and I'm making a mess. Why did Ryan like stumble? Like he was looking at her and he like, got he like stumbled why did he do why did he do that that's that's it hmm i wasn't expecting the ending to be like that i mean it was good but it wasn't like it wasn't like you know i don't know how to explain i guess i expected the ending to be more of like a cliffhanger i guess it kind of wasn't 
His book was definitely not really what I expected it to be. And I guess I don't really know what I expected, to be honest. I'm going to start on the next book tomorrow. I might start with the audiobook. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to read the next book tomorrow. Hi, I truly don't know what I look like right now, but I really don't care. It's been a long day. I just wanted to give a quick update on A Court of Mist and Fury. I haven't really talked about it, but for the majority of this book, I've been listening to it on Spotify because I have hours and the hours reset. And this is like a really thick book, so I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So I just wanted to say I'm about halfway through. I'm on chapter 35, page 338. So I'm like this much through. So... I don't really know what to say exactly because this is like a spoiler free reading vlog. I like everything that's going on. We did get to meet more of Rysan's friends and um, I guess those are the bat boys. And I've been wondering for so long who these bat boys were, but I guess I finally met them. I met the bat boys. And I'm starting to understand more of Rysan's character because at first I was um, like, why do why why does everyone like him so much? But now I'm starting to understand why. And I'm at the point now where I'm like, you know, people say, my sister said that this book was spicy. Where? <laughs> where i'm waiting for it nothing nothing has happened through here nothing at this point in the book you know it's funny like some of the parts i didn't really know what was going on i was just kind of going and maybe i just missed some things in the audiobook but i was like wait where are they going what are they doing so far i do think i'm enjoying this one better than the first book and i don't read much fantasy this is probably the most fantasy book i've read so far yeah and i don't want to give too much away so i'm just going to continue reading this and i will try to film my reaction for the end of the book and let you guys know how i feel without giving too much away because i don't want to spoil anybody I am super close to being done with this book. I'm literally this much left. There's a lot more going on in this book than the first book, but I definitely recommend this one for the Spotify audio only because there's a lot going on in it. And some parts I do feel like if you have not read a lot of fantasy, it does get a little overwhelming in a sense. I will say I am very much enjoying it. There is a lot more questions answered and the last book kind of ends off with like a happy note and then you realize in this book that things weren't gonna be like as happy for Feyre. You start to learn more about characters, you you meet more characters. I think we pretty much, I pretty much met the bad boys. I meet the famous Rysan, the guy that everyone's been talking about and I get it now. <laughs> but we're learning a lot more about Rysan and his friends learning a lot more about Feyre herself. But the Found family in this book is also really good. Like Feyre found a home with these characters and it's just really cool. Um, really, really, really nice t for her to find somebody. I will say, Feyre is really annoying though. Like she's, she's kind of annoying. There was something, there was some reveal that happened. She was mad at him about it. And I thought that was the stupidest thing in the world. I was like, girl, chill out it was really annoying but anyway i'm going to try and get the rest of this book done i'm so close to being done and i'm scared of what this ending is gonna bring i look crazy <laughs> but i'm so comfy <laughs> I, I, okay, I'm starting to have a bad feeling. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck? End of chapter 63, we see people come out from the darkness. And I'm like, I was wondering when you'd show back up. <laughs> oh, 
There's so many things happening right now. It's like one thing after another right now. End of chapter 64. Another one! <laughs> what? Wait. I did, okay, I, I did not see that coming. What? Chapter 65 at the end. Why is every single chapter having like a mic drop? Like a plot twist. Bruh. That's crazy. Okay, so I just finished A Court of Mist and Fury. And like basically since chapter 60, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, bam, bam, bam. Every chapter was ending with like a cliffhanger and I just had to keep going. And I will say I did enjoy this book a lot better than the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't think it's a five star though. And I'm only saying that because there are some things that I got a little bit confused about even while listening to the audiobook that could just be me not understanding. I feel like this is definitely a 4.5. It's still really, really good. It's just not like five star, like so good. Like I think this is definitely a 4.5 star read. This book, I'm just so surprised about Elaine. But if you were like thinking about reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, I would maybe say like try to do the audio version of these reads if you are new to fantasy. If you're just now wanting to get into fantasy and you really want to start with A Court of Thorns and Roses, I would suggest trying something else first. And I'm only saying that because these two books have a lot of world building in them and I feel like that might come across as like intimidating for some readers and also a bit confusing. So I would definitely recommend Fourth Wing and Powerless and maybe even Divine Rivals to be your first fantasy books. Those are the first fantasy books I've I read and I had a really fun time reading Fourth Wing and Powerless especially and Divine Rivals was also just a really good book. Divine Rivals is kind of like a fantasy read. It has a bit of fantasy but it's also like kind of kind of gives off like a fictional historical fantasy vibe with with romance if that makes sense but Fourth Wing is definitely fantasy and so is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. So I think I would suggest those books before jumping into Akatar. But those are just my suggestions as a first time reader reading fantasy. That's what I would do. But if you want to go ahead and jump into this world, I would definitely recommend um, using Spotify Premium. You can get Spotify Premium um, and you can get 15 hours of audiobook time a month. Um, I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying that like that would be a good option. But yeah, those are just my suggestions. But anyway, like this was so so fun to jump into this world and finally figure out what everyone's been talking about and since i don't have a third or fourth book or the rest of the series with me i'm going to have to make a part two to this video and if you guys want to see a part two make sure you leave a comment letting me know if you like this video either way i definitely plan on reading those books pretty soon because i need closure for this i need to figure out what's going on anyway that is the end of this reading vlog and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye